Hey guys, it's your host and guide, Chris13 here, welcoming you back to a bonus episode of Let's Play Silent Hill 2. Now, in this bonus episode, we're just going to go back to the beginning, as you can see here from the cutscene that we're back at the beginning, and we're going to pick up a special item that I mentioned in my LP that I said you can get after you've completed the game at least once. And we're gonna check out a few other things that I mentioned I wanted to do by going back to the beginning of the game, and I'm just gonna give you a few updates along the way. So this is partially just an update episode, and as a way for me to do an update episode, I've kind of gone back and I figured I might as well just do Silent Hill. And, uh, you know, give you guys a taste of what's to come because well before I tell you what's coming I thought I'd mention that with my recorder I think in a recent portal episode I may have mentioned that I finished recording by running in my, my PS3 dreams through my recorder and into the TV using composite cables as opposed to just the normal like you promised what are the other ones called? There there's composite something. and there's component and uh, because I couldn't use my HD cable wow. because my uh, recorder isn't, doesn't now. record HD and so you know, therefore I could actually place. watch it on my TV like when I turned on my PlayStation I could see in the corner it was rec my TV was screening at a 1080 and then as soon as Portal started, it would shift to 720. I got a letter. And I figured that my recorder was still the just on the envelope uploading to said, my PC Mary. at 480 because that's all it's supposed to be able to do is Ridiculous. standard definition. However, when I actually looked at what it was recording afterwards, the dimensions so. were 720 by 480. Did person can't so it actually was recording at Mary higher quality damn disease than I was uploading ago. the videos. So I was actually still just dumbing them down to SD so because, then, well, I was why am dumb. I looking for her? And if you're actually looking at this Silent Hill There's episode as opposed place. to the other ones, Although I can't tell right now if this is actually this going to work, place. but this is a test. Does she mean the I am going to upload this episode in 720. The whole day there. Just to see the two of us if this beginning water. scene actually does look better Could Mary than it really did, be there? did when I first initially is she really alive? uploaded it in the first playthrough because it looks a hell of a lot nicer on my TV. Looking at my computer screen, it looks a hell of a lot nicer because the nice thing about the PS3 and the PS2, like I don't have a PS3 that's PS2 compatible. So I, I still have to plug in my PS2 and I still have to use my PS2 like as if it was another system altogether. However, they use the same cords, like it has the same connector, so I can just unplug it from my PS3, plug it right into my PS2. Same thing with the uh, power cable, and I'm good to go. No messy swapping cords around, no messy plugging anything in, no like messy extra cords all hanging in the back. It's still just the two cables I just unplug from one system, plug them into the other, don't have to switch anything up with the recorder. It's it's easy, and that way I can still use the uh, component cables with the PS2, which actually makes it look nicer, because right now on my screen, it's playing in 720, which I didn't even know the PS2 was c capable of doing. So this is a whole new thing for me. This is insane. This is, I've still got my slide going on. Must be a... Uh, bit frozen here but yeah so hopefully my videos just got a bit nicer including uh, my older PS2 ones still not gonna work for like um, 
any sort of like N64 or other sort of systems because I don't know of any sort of component cables for those systems and those ones are a bit older. Well, actually, I guess the N64 is, and I guess the N64 is <clears throat> actually newer than the... Wait, no. Do, 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 do. PS2 and the GameCube were part of the same generation. The N64 was part of PS1s, I think. Because the SNES was 16-bit, the PS1 was 32, the N64 came out at the end of that generation, like it was a later release. And I guess the PlayStation came out in between the SNES and the N64, so yeah. Never mind. I was going to say the N64 is part of the same generation, but it's not, so yeah, it is older too. However, one of the things I wanted to try to do, and it was pointed out to me that uh, when I mentioned it, that if you try and enter the town here without a map, I wanted to try it to see, holy shit, could you go through the entire game without a map? But you can't if you try and enter. He's said that there's a map in the car and it would be a good idea to take it, so you're pointed out that you have to go grab it. So, yeah, just figured I'd, I'd show that because I mentioned it in the video and someone pointed out to me that you can't and I did say I would go back and try it and I just figured might as well do it while we're here at the beginning anyways. Yeah, alright. Well, that's one of the two things out of the way. Now we just gotta run all the way through here again. But, oh, what to start with? What did I say? Well, the fact that I've pulled Silent Hill 2 back out is because I've actually contacted a few friends of mine, the ones that I played Silent Hill 2 with back in high school and I played Silent Hill 3 with and we attempted Silent Hill 1. I've still never actually played through Silent Hill 1. I've uh, gone on like all the different wikis and I've read up all about it so I pretty well know the story and everything that happens in it. I just, I've never been able to completely play through it because there's just, I can go back and play, play PlayStation 1 games, I can go back and play SNES games, like it's not like, oh my god, it's an old game, I can't. But just after playing like Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3, I, j I just can't do it. The worlds are just too big, they're like, not big big, but like the roads are too like, just large and blocky to try and cross from one side to the other things like that it's just it didn't age well for me so I've never actually played through it and I'm not saying I'm going to attempt it but I've gotten a hold of those guys and we can just skip this stupid cutscene um to uh try and attempt um Maria's quest in this one, whatever that one was called, the uh, angel something something. Basically the uh, second part of Silent Hill 2, there's a little side thing in this collector's edition or whatever this one is, the Shattered Memories, the PS2 version, or in the collector's edition of the Xbox version, and I've never done it, and I don't know why. So yeah. Um, I'm probably going to start recording that with some guest commentary from, assuming they actually come out, from the guys that I initially played through Silent Hill with, and it's going to be blind. Because apparently a lot of people like blind LPs. And as I said the last time, you come through here, if you beat the game there'll be a stack of logs, and as you can hear... There's a loud noise, because apparently, somehow, this chainsaw, without anyone holding it, and holding down on the, uh... Well, I guess this one might not have one. Most chainsaws have, like, a safety bar, and you have to, like... If you lift it up too high, it'll stop running, or if you, like, drop it, because you're not holding something else, they'll stop running. Like, it's an emergency cutoff, so you can't accidentally, like, kill yourself with it. But... Special item for beating the game once, we got the chainsaw. Hells to the yeah. Now we just gotta get into town so that we can show it off. Yeah! Yeah. 
shit, how the hell did I do that stabby thing? Stab, no, that's not a stabby thing. No, that's not a stabby thing. Okay, seriously. I've never done that before. I've only ever done the, uh, side swipe, which... Oh, do you just tap it? No, that, that's not working. No. Do I tap it and then... It, no. Okay, well, it works sometimes, and it doesn't work sometimes. Alright, well, it seems to work if I, like, tap X and, like, attack and up at the same time, and then just keep mashing up. So I don't exactly know what's causing it. But, no, I'll, I'll explain the attack when I get into town. Da da da! Da 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 da! Alright, so yeah, that's, that's one thing. Eventually I'll have a blind second part of Silent Hill 2. And then I can finally get into recording and completing and showing off Silent Hill 3. And then maybe I'll go on and do Silent Hill 4 The Room. Never finished that one either. Wasn't really a big fan of it. Wasn't as good as number 3. And if I do decide to do that, I might eventually also end up doing Silent Hill 5. Which I own and have not played past like the first 5-10 minutes. Yeah. Rawr. Right. I'm also going to be, uh... I got a few other LPs in the works. I've got, actually, another one with guest commentary. Coming out. It's more of a kid's game, so it shouldn't be that long. It should be able to... We should be able to get through it quite quickly. But I figured that I actually had a lot of fun playing the game, even though it is a kid's game. I got It's a Marvel Superhero Squad. I thought there was just something about it that was quirky and fun. And so I figured, hey, what the hell, why not? Let's, uh, let, let's just do this because I can and I want to. And then another one I've got that I'm contemplating on doing. There's a few from, like games that I played as a kid that I like rented or like never finished that I want to get and finish and uh, I've recently decided that I'm gonna start trying to get a hold of stuff like that so that I can finish them um, one of them being uh, mystical ninja starring Goman for the n64 another one also for the n64 being Shadowgate um, Mystical Ninja is kind of like, uh, a lot of people compare it to, like, Mario 64. I consider it more like Legend of Zelda meets, like, a Mario platformer where you're jumping around and doing stuff. Either way, it's fun, and it's unfortunate that most of the Mystical Ninja games weren't brought over here because I've enjoyed the majority of them that I've played. And Shadowgate is, uh, like, it's a first-person puzzle thing where imagine a uh, I don't really know how to describe it there's a bunch of puzzles and like like kind of finding the key puzzles to get through to the next area in like a big first person world kind of like thing Lots of traps, really freaking difficult. Like, within, like, the first two minutes, you, like, step on, like, the wrong... Step too close to the edge of, like, the land where, like, the water is and you just suddenly die. Like, that sort of, like, difficult. Like, it's got... The game has... What's the word I'm looking for? It's got no mercy. It's, it's brutal, from what I remember, and I've found a copy of it that I'm probably going to go pick up, so... Well, that I'm going to go pick up. I've ordered, so now I just have to wait for it to come in so I can go pick it up. So I'm probably going to be playing through that, too. You know, older games that I never finished and most people probably never heard of. Um, now, this scene here, I want you to point out, like, we have a chainsaw. 
but because the game's made, you don't have a chainsaw here. James freaks out and goes and grabs this wooden plank. And you're thinking, really? I have a mother effing chainsaw. What the hell? So let's use it. We got it out. He's gonna spray at us. Come on, no, closer. Closer. Yeah. Ugh, ugh. Is it dead? Stabby, stabby. What the hell is it? Yeah, okay. That's the chainsaw. You see that? One hit kill. You just take out your monsters and move on. Except for one small problem. Playing on normal or hard difficulty? Yeah, it's only actually one hit kill on easy. Yeah, pretty lame. This uh, super weapon... ...isn't even like super strong. It's tough, but it's slow. And like, watch this. Like, you still have to wait for them to spray because you can't get in close enough. And oh, look at that. It still hits you again before you even get a chance to attack. So now we got to do this all over again. And uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's check it out. Why would I have to kick him if he wasn't dead yet? Oh, yeah, because it didn't kill him. If you don't kick him, he'll still just run into your ankles and bite your feet and damage you. Yeah, this super weapon can't even kill the first monsters in one hit. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out because it, it's not that great. And I know I've been building it up for the last little while, but that was just so I could tear it down like that. It's slow, it's unwielding, it's not overly powerful, and due to its lack of speed, it's not really worth it, or at all. And finally, the last thing I wanted to show, which I meant, I kept meaning to come back here and show this, and point it out, and point it out, and point it out, and I don't think I did and ever record it, but here's the statue here, we're right here on the map, and then... When I did want to come back and show it, I couldn't because I think I was inside the apartments and I couldn't leave yet. And then I got to the other side and never wanted to come back. And then I was like, okay, you know what? I'll just make an episode where I start off and I'm standing in front of it. And then I'll cut all the way back or I'll start a new game or something. But what we have here is actually a hint for when we get to Rosewater Park. We have just, I don't know if it's a gravestone or just like a statue of some sort or a tablet that's outside these houses. Whoa, 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 sorry. I, I kind of skipped the first one, so I ended up skipping all of it. But what we have is um, it's actually a small clue for finding out like how to get through and what to do when you get to the park, right? You've got the remains of the swamp, the um, something of land surrounding, this monument was originally swamp, but was later filled something ago, something nicknamed Blood Swamp because the waters poured the, the something poured the water something to wash the X something in here. Perhaps it's folly that many people seem to have something in the area right like I don't know how it's supposed to help you but it's supposed to help you right and you can uh, you'll notice it'll pop down here into your memos swamp monument and yeah I just figured I'd point that out show you guys the chainsaw let you know that more Silent Hill is coming up whenever I manage to get around to it now that portal should be finished by the time I upload this. Like, I've done recording it all, I'm just waiting for it to slowly upload. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it that I'm going to give away in this episode. This is supposed to be a short bonus episode, and it has gone on way too long. So, this is it. Goodbye. I'm Chris13. Peace out.